Hey everybody in YouTube land. I'm uh, working in the garage today. I'm staying in these little curtain rings. See these curtain rings? And I'm staying in uh, a uh, pole extension part. I had cut a pole for my wife to go in our dining room and it was supposed to be so long but she changed her mind and decided to make it longer. I don't have a, a fancy tripod like some people out there are like 63 Impala or R Peak. Um, I'm doing my filming with an iPhone. So I got to resort to things like propping my phone up on a window seal, which is what's happening right now. But I wanted to show you I'm, uh, I'm using a pre stain min wax pre stain for this wood. See this? Breeze stain. It works pretty darn good. I did it on the uh, on the pole that I've got hanging already. I'll show you more of that along the way because I'm going to reattach these poles. But I'm pre staining these because just in case they're made of a porous wood, the uh, description on these don't don't say what they're made of. But I want to make sure that the stain holds properly. And just to make it nice and pretty and even, I'm using this pre-stain, which, which is pretty liquidy. Um, I'm getting them already. I've got 20 of these to do. Uh, once I get these pre-stained and they have a good period to dry, I'm going to go back over it with this gel stain. Gel stain works good for just about any kind of wood. Uh, it's for wood, veneers, fiberglass, and more. Which is important because the the hangers that I used on the inside to, to hang these this gigantic pole up is actually made of fiberglass. You know, I tried to find a fancy wood one and not many folks out there make wood hangers. Um, you know, for a reasonable price. The fiberglass ones I actually found on a website and they look pretty, but they come to you and they're like a generic fiberglassy resin type white stuff. And I looked at that and I thought, well, that just needs to be stained because that's ugly. And I was right. Once I stained it, it looked just like wood. So I figured I'd show the process of this a little along the way you what I'm up to you know sometimes in order to work on your your car projects you have to you have to do special things for the wife to make her happy and then and then when you go to do the car project she's not saying well I really wish you'd do this thing for me so this is just a, a learning lesson for all you men folk out there who you know who say my wife never lets me do this in my car blah 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 if you stain her little curtain rings and fix her curtain rod so it's nice and pretty or whatever little crazy project it is that she can come up with then when it's time to work on your hot rod she'll think to herself you know he did do that stuff for me I don't mind him doing that stuff for himself see pretty smart huh anyway I'm gonna work on this a little bit and uh when I start staining it with this gloopy gel stain, I'll show you what that looks like. Because it's actually, it looks kind of nasty when you put it on, but it finishes and it looks really nice. So, y'all have a great day.